Hello everybody and welcome back to another Pocket Mine plugin tutorial and review. Today we're doing Easy Kits, which is a really simple kits plugin that everyone can use and I'm going to be showing you how to set it up today, so let's get to it. So basically, this plugin, uh, as far as required plugins for this to work, um, if you want to have economy, which is basically when you go to claim a kit, it will say how much it's going to cost and it will charge that player that amount, then you're going to need to use economy API or multi-economy. Um, however, you this is not required, it's just an optional whether you want it or not. Same with Piggy Custom Enchants, which is adding custom enchants. It will allow you to add custom enchants to the items in your kits. So if you want to have that feature, then make sure you have Piggy Custom Enchants um, on your server and Easy Kits will support it. So without further ado, let's get into this one. So slash kit, you can see brings up this category menu. Then you click on the category and it shows you the kits in that category. So how to create a category, just do slash create category you see there and it'll bring up these nice UIs, they've got these for all of the commands and do you simply put what you want the category name to be, so let's just call it plugin, plugin tutorial or something like that just for us, and then we've got locked here and this is permissions, so let me go over permissions quickly uh, easykits.category.category name will give the permission for that category. So if this is set to locked and a player has got permission easykits.category.pluginTutorial they will be able to go into this category and claim kits in this category if they've got the kit permission as well for that one but we'll go into that when we make kits. So select that however you want it to be and then let me show you how to create kits. So basically everything in your inventory is going to be in this kit. So you can see I've just got some basic items here. You can use slash add kit, slash make kit or slash create kit. Run this command and you've got some stuff to read up here. Slash edit kit you can use to edit some more things afterwards. But simply call it whatever you want. Tutorial. If you're using economy then set this price to whatever, if not just leave it as zero, even if you are using economy you can still, if you want it to be free, just leave it as zero. Cooldown in seconds, so however long you want that to be, just search up what's an hour in seconds, what's a day in seconds, whatever, and put that number in there. Category, just choose a category, so you can see we've got all of these categories here, we'll just choose the plugin tutorial one, and we're back with the permissions, so easykits.kit.com kit name so for example easykits.kit.tutorial would be the permission you want to give your players if you want them to claim this kit other flags empty on claim basically means you're going to empty their inventory when they claim it uh, overriding items is basically going to mean um, in the slots where I put those items in my hotbar whatever items they have in those slots will get overrided with these items. Same thing with armor, their armor will get overrided. Always claim, this basically means even if their inventory is full they will claim what they can of the kit or they will claim the kit and it will destroy what other stuff in, in their way in their inventory. And chest kit, I'll just turn this one on to show you guys but basically the kit will be a chest. So let's claim this kit now and let me show you what I mean by that. Claim this, you get a chest, place this down, and then uh, it will give you the items in your inventory. It's a little bit laggy for me, that's just the server because I'm using a free one. But yeah, so that will give you the stuff, and then you can do whatever you want with that, obviously. So deleting stuff, slash delete category, slash delete kit, and slash delete kit, they do the same thing. But delete category, obviously, and delete kit, that's pretty self-explanatory. Edit kit, let me just show you this quickly, you can edit these kits in here to add some more features. So general settings is what we just configured whilst we were making the kit. The category, we can change that if we want. The items, um, that's you know changing the items. You can make it give you potion effects after claim and also commands on claim as well. Really cool features here and claim effects is going to be coming soon but basically that will probably be items like uh, no, effects like fireworks on open or something similar um, like that. So there we go, you can edit all that in there if you want. Other commands, slash give kits, and you can choose who you want to give a kit to, what kit you want to give them 
and then it will give them that kit in their inventory basically nice and simple as well see we got that it's just really laggy server because it's a free one and then we've also got slash import kit which is a really nice feature say you've got kits set up with a different kit plugin one here advanced kits kit ui or kits plus then select it press submit and the kits you've got set up with these plugins will be transferred to easy kits which you know you don't have to set it up all over again really nice feature i've used this before with advanced kits when i switched and yeah it works fine it's really clever and i yeah it's really good if you want to see me do uh, tutorials for these kit plugins or for any other plugins for that matter um leave a comment down below and i will try and do my best to do it for you so those are all of the commands with the kits plugin. I'll just quickly go over some more permissions. Um, easykits.command.the dot dot command is for all of the commands. So easykit.command.kit.createKit.deletekit, etc. Um, and then we've got easykits.kit um, dot the kit name. That's for permission to claim a kit. It will be default unlocked, so that's only if you want to unlock it basically. Easykits.free.kit name will get them make them be able to claim it for free. For example, if you've got rank kits that you want normal players to have to pay for, but if you've got a rank, then you can get it for free. So that's easykits.free.kit name and then easykits.instant.kit name which they can claim a kit without a cooldown and then also easykits.category dot category name basically really simple and yeah that's that's all there is to in game for this plugin and let's go to the config files now in the server plugin data folder and configure all of the options there are in there because there's also lots of options to configure in there so let's go over there now okay guys so now we're at the files part you're gonna i'm using a free eternal server for these plugin things as my my server switched to new kit now so you're going to want to go into your plugin data folder. This is going to be a folder on your server no matter what. And then head into easy kits. And you're going to see all of these files. Lots of them are very self explanatory if you go into them, like config. Um, I'll quickly run through this, but you can see it's got it tells you what all of these are. You've got default flags, showing locked categories, settings for op, and economy stuff down the bottom. And then you've got categories so this simply shows you and you can edit all the info for your categories in there same thing for kits as well down here it shows you all the info for prices cooldown all the items etc all in there then we've got cooldowns um you don't need to go into that really that's just a data folder so you don't need to worry about that commands in here you can change uh, you can change the command labels and the description of the commands etc you can change all of that if you want and then the lang folder which is probably what you want to change the most really um, where you can change the all of the UI info you can change the kit title the kit text the you know the how it looks if it's available or, or locked or whatever you can change all of that color codes as well it, you know it's all customizable in here with the lang folder so you can really do whatever you want in there so yeah that's pretty much it for easy kits if you want to see any other kits plugins or any other plugins in general then leave a comment below let me know what you want to see so yeah kits plugin this was it good for you know, nice and simple, good for lots of game modes. Really would recommend it. My favourite kits plugin on Pocket Mine. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.